So I'm going to go into Dynamics 365. For those of you who are on AX 2012, you'll notice that Dynamics 365 is a web-based client. You no longer need to RDP into anywhere or open up a separate program. It is simply go open up your web browser, whichever one you like, go to a certain link, put in your username and login, and you're on the system. Note that Microsoft has released a new multi-factor authentication. So now when you log in, you either have to put in a code that gets texted to you. So those features are available now as well. And so that's something to be cognizant of. So what you see on my screen is the main page for Dynamics 365. What you see over here are called workspaces. Workspaces are amalgamations of links and KPIs and other areas that would be useful to you when you're doing a specific task. All these workspaces are configurable to each individual user. You'll notice that I have a number of them on my screen. This is because I'm a system administrator. Your security role will dictate which of these workspaces you have access to. And from there, you'll be able to do whatever it is that you do on your day-to-day -day basis. So let's get into some of the new features. Let's go into our ledger calendar. You have to go through each one of your legal entities. And so if you were in a situation where you had 10 legal entities, it was a little annoying, a little tedious, but livable. If you had 50 legal entities, then you end up in a real pickle because let's say you forget to do one and then somebody posts into a period that's actually closed. Then you have to back all that out and it becomes quite time consuming. And you'd have to go up here, you'd have to switch between each one and it would get very, very cumbersome. So in Dynamics 365, they released a feature where every legal entity that is on the same fiscal calendar, remember you can have more than one fiscal calendar in your organization or in your system, but every legal entity that follows all gets listed right here. So let's say I'm in February and you say update period and I wanna put it on hold. And just like that, you're done. And you know you didn't miss one, you know you don't have to worry about that problem. So it's a huge time saving and it saves potential errors down the road. You also have the ability to update the module access. So let's say you wanna put February on hold, but you want to give your senior accounting staff still access to post the closing entries to the ledger. So what I can say is I can go to the ledger module and I wanna give my, let's say my approvers group still access to post in the ledger, even though it's on hold for everyone else. I simply hit update and there now you can see that the ledger can still be accessed by the approvers group. And this is a user defined group. So you can create as many groups as you want and you can choose to say who are the people that are in those groups. So maybe for my Danish company and my French company, I say I want to give those access to my general journal posters group. One thing you'll note is that your user groups are system wide. So you can give it to the same people. Again, security comes into play here, but you see it's all set up within one screen. So now you see that all of these are on hold, but the approvers could still access the ledger in USMF and the general journal posters can still access the general ledger in these companies. So it's just one screen that a controller or an accounting manager can come into and make their life a lot easier. So that's another new feature as well.